What up, what up? Wimbush here. And today I'm excited to show you guys my workflow getting into Unreal using the Rococo mocap suit with my own special characters that I'm going to rig up inside of Mixamo. This one goes out to DJ. I know he's been banging his head trying to figure this out. So without further ado, let's jump right into it. And before I officially get started, I want to give a shout out to Drama. He's the one that supplied me with the character I'm going to be using today. So if you watched my tutorial earlier this morning, I'm actually going to be using this guy again because I show you guys how we could get this character from Cinema 40 into Mixamo to rig it up and everything and another reason why I'm giving him a big shout out is because I'm going to be updating my Unreal course on MoGraph.com I'm going to be doing some project based stuff and I'm going to be using a lot of his assets there so again shout out to Drama if you guys are interested in the course at all make sure you click on the link down below in the description so getting back into it I'm going to jump into Cinema 4D we have the character here I'm not going to go through the process of how to bring this into Mixamo all you have to do is click on the link up above like I said I did a tutorial this morning on how to do that exact workflow and so when you're ready with your character and you have it rigged inside of Mixamo so this is inside of Mixamo right now I have my character he's already rigged up in here and everything don't worry about the texture sometimes Mixamo doesn't translate that well but when you download it everything will be there and so what I like to do is I come over to my animations tab which I'm already in and I come over to search and I type in T and the very first one should be T-Pose. And the reason that I use the T-Pose inside of the animation is because just going through, you know, R&D with this type of stuff, if I use the other default T-Pose, it seems not to translate as well once you're bringing it to Unreal or even Cinema 4D for that fact. So the tip here is go to animations, type in T, get your T-Pose from the animation sector, and you should be set to go. So what I'm going to do now is I'm going to come over to download. I'm just going to click this, and then I'm just going to leave everything at default and just download it here. And while I'm doing this download, I'm actually going to open up Rococo Studio because we could do some mocap acting in here. So once again, if you want to see how you can export your character from Cinema into Rococo, make sure you check out my previous tutorial. But from here, we're going to jump into Rococo Studio and do some custom mocap that we could bring into Unreal. So as you can see here, I have Rococo Studio opened up. So I'm just going to start a new project. I'm going to name this one Tutorial. And then you can see I have my avatar in there. I already have my battery packed and everything powered up with my suit. And so the next logical step is I'm going to add my actor profile here under add objects. So I'm going to click on this and then I'm just going to drag the suit up under my profile here. And there we go. Now I have my profile. You can see everything is moving, but I need to calibrate it first. So up here at the top, I'm going to do perform calibration pose. Click on that. There we go. Now I have my suit all ready to go. So I'm just gonna do some type of action pose. We have a soldier that's in there. So maybe he's just in the fight stance or something like that. So I'm gonna click on the record button, move back. All right, cool. So just something like that. And then I'm going to come down here to takes, double click on this. We can kind of just play it back. I didn't do anything too crazy in here, so we shouldn't have any popping or anything like that. So yeah, just in like a hop stance there, moving back and forth. I do see a little bit of popping, so I could do some auto fixing down here and stuff. So if I come down here, click on this, I'm going to fix the drift. And then I'm going to do foot IK and knee popping smooth and i'm just going to play it back again see if this helps smooth out the animation a little bit there and that's the thing i like about rococo studio too is we have these magic tools down here that basically help a lot with you know the cleanup work and everything like i said i'm not doing anything too crazy here but it helps so let's say i'm happy with this here so the next step is just to export this out so there's, you can do it one of two ways. I can actually come over here and right click on export. Or if you come over here, right above the timeline, there's an exporter button here as well. So if I click on that, it's giving me the export options. I'm going to leave it as an FBX and then I'm going to leave it as a Mixamo skeleton just because we have a Mixamo skeleton that we auto rigged our character with. And so this will automatically match everything up once we get into Unreal. And so I'm just going to find a folder where I want to save this stuff. So let me go to my 
M.2 drive, and I believe I have a project here already for it. So we're code code UI, go under characters. I'm gonna click okay. And so I have everything set up in there. Mimic file hierarchy, yep. So these are the settings that I'm gonna use. The highest setting we can use here is FBX 2016, which works perfectly fine. And then I'm gonna click off body mesh because I just wanna bring in a skeleton. I don't wanna bring any mesh over, just the animation. So I'm gonna click export from here. Wait for this to export out. And while that's exporting, I'm actually gonna open up Epic Game Studios so I could get Unreal opened up. And it looks like this is done anyway. So I'm actually going to exit this out and then let me go back into my file explorer. And this is the T pose that I downloaded from Mixamo. So I'm gonna take this and I'm actually just gonna bring it into my folder that I have everything else. So Rococo to Unreal, characters, I'm just gonna click and drag this from the download folder into here. And then instead of just T-Pose, I'm just gonna name this one T-Pose underscore army. Just so I know that's my army character there. And then next I'm gonna come over to library and just launch version 4.26, which is the latest version of Unreal Engine. So I'm gonna launch this here. Okay, now that I have my Unreal Project Browser opened up, I'm just gonna come over to Film, Television, and Live Events and just start with a blank scene here. So I'm gonna click Next on this, and then I'm not gonna turn on Ray Tracing Project. I'll just name this one Tutorial. There we go, and then click Create Project. So now that I have Unreal open, I'm gonna click on my Content Browser. I'm just gonna right click and make a new folder. I'm just gonna name this one Character. And then I'm gonna find my folder that I have everything saved out. So the first thing that I wanna do is bring my T-Pose in. So I'm just gonna click on T-Pose and drag this into my content browser. And then this is gonna come up, the FBX importer. There's only one thing that we really need to change right here with this down arrow. I'm gonna click on this where it says use TO as ref pose. I wanna click on that and turn it on. And then I'm just gonna click import. And that took a few moments to import, but it looks like we have everything in here. And my bad, I didn't actually import it into my character folder, but that's okay. We have everything that we need in here. And so we have the T-Pose from Mixamo in here. If I come over, let me zero him out, drag him up a little bit. So now we have our character in here. And actually this player start, I'm just going to delete that. So now we have our character inside of our scene. He's in our T-Pose. So from here, what I'm gonna do is go back to my File Explorer, and then I'm gonna find where I have my Rococo stuff, which is right here where it says Take One. I'm actually just gonna name this one Rococo. And then I'm just gonna click and drag this into Unreal. And then for here, where it says FBX Importer, we wanna make sure that we're using the Mixamo skeleton. Remember, I renamed it underscore army. And so I know that the T-Pose underscore army is the T-Pose skeleton that we wanna have everything, all of our animations connect to and everything. So we wanna make sure that's on. And then right here where it says animation length, I'm just gonna do exported time, but you also wanna make sure this is on too. And then everything else should be fine. So I'm just gonna click import all. And now we have our animation import in here, which if I come down here, you can see we have Rococo down here and you can see it's already connected to our army character here. And so I'm gonna show you two ways that we can actually use this animation once we're inside of Unreal. The first way is we can actually use the animation for gameplay. And then the second way is for whenever we're rendering out cinematics. And so I'm gonna go with the first way first. If I click on my, if I come over to Raw Outliner and click on my T-Pose army guy here, if I scroll down here in my details panel, right here under animation mode, if I click on this and say use animation asset, now we get this green box in here in which if I click on none, this should have my animations in here. So if you have a couple of animations, it will give you a couple of options, but I just brought the one over from Rococo. So if I click on this, you can see it changed our character a little bit in there. But if I click on the actual play button up here, so at the top, click on play, and now my character is animated and we're inside of like actual gameplay right now. So this is the real time viewport. So if this was like a video game or something of that nature, this is how he's moving in there. So I'm actually going to stop that. And then the second way is using it inside of the sequencer, which is for rendering out cinematics. So if I come up here to where it says cinematics, click on this, I'm going to add a new level sequence. And then I'm just gonna leave everything at default. I'm just gonna click save. And now we have a sequencer, which is our timeline here. 
And what I'm going to do from here is actually click on my character over here in the row outliner, click and drag this into my sequencer here. And I can actually bring this up to 60 FPS if I want. And so if I scrub through this, you can see that he's not doing anything. He's still stuck in the T pose. And that's because we have to add an animation to it. So if I click on animation, click on this, you see, we have this binder here. It has our animation in it. So you could click on it and then we could just kind of drag it over and it's just dragging over in our timeline. And so let me come down here, make this a little bit longer, maybe around 600 frames. And then if I come down here and click the play button, or if I come up to perspective, come to cinematic viewport, it brings up our play button settings here inside the viewport. So if I click on play, now we have our animations playing inside of Unreal Engine. So hopefully this helped you guys out. I know DJ out there on Twitter was asking me how I go about my workflow from Rococo into Unreal Engine using Cinema 4D. These are pretty much the exact steps that I take. So hopefully this helped him out and you guys as well. If you guys are out there and your mocap artists, just seeing my workflow, maybe a spark some interest. I like using the Mixamo setup just because it's pretty much drag and drop and everything. Everything is auto rigged for you. So you don't have to do any type of constraints or anything of that nature. And so if this did help you out, make sure you leave me a comment down below or if you see a step that I missed and you have a better idea of how to do this definitely leave me a comment because I'm always trying to evolve my workflow here and if you're new to the channel make sure you click that subscribe button give me a big thumbs up and until next time stay fresh keep creating and I catch you in the next video thank you guys again take care